Hello, dear E lovers, and welcome to another episode of the Compendium of Discomfort. My name is Michael, and I know I promised I would talk about a Shadow of Fire, and I will. But instead of watching Shadow, uh, recording about Shadow of Fire, I watched it many, many times. Um, but instead of actually um, talking about it, I just went to the cinema and watched more movies and bought a Koji Wakamatsu t-shirt and uh, now I'm here to talk about things that um, couldn't be further away from Koji Wakamatsu, but uh, it's, it's nice. And uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd make two short uh, videos about stuff that I watched in the cinema and Shadowfire comes maybe tomorrow or so when I have more time and more sleep. So anyway, so this time we will talk about a movie that is uh, called Shin Mai Kisha Toroko. Um, Watashi ga yaraneba dare ga yaru. And that's this movie. I mentioned it a few times. Uh, here's a, a flyer that you can't see because today I turned on that light to get a little bit more light here. Um, but uh, yeah, I talked about it in the context of the actresses who are involved in this movie. And I guess that's the main selling point for this film, which is not exactly bad. But uh, yeah, let, let me show you here these uh, ladies guess that's uh, cool, yeah. So, um, yeah, in particular, it's a vehicle to promote um, Karin Fujiyoshi, who is not known as an actress, but very well known as an idol, because she's a member of the group Sakura Zaka 46, who used to be known as Keaki Zaka 46. I have no idea about these number groups. I don't care about idols, but every now and then they show up in some movies because uh, why not? They're popular and uh, likable and people go to watch their movies. And here she is paired with Akari Takaishi from Baby Assassins, like one of the big two stars of that franchise. And um, Tomo Nakai, who is a uh, the female uh, dead body disposal um, staff in Baby Assassins. And therefore, uh, I guess they will get a little bit more interest for this movie, which is a smart idea. And then we have one more noteworthy actor, uh, that's uh, Keito Tsuna, who used to be more a uh, Super Sentai guy. But the real star of this film We'll get to that in a second. Is Masahiro Takashima, who is uh, most well known for um, the Obayashi movie Hanagatami, and um, I always get the title wrong, uh, Casting Blossoms to the Sky. Uh, but he was in Godzilla, for example, Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2 from 1993. And he was in the Kingdom series and in the wonderful movie Safe World. Uh, some other stuff as well. So he's the most well-known actor and secretly the real star of this movie. Just to mention the director, it's uh, Kiichi Kobayashi, who I don't really know. He made few movies, but I never heard of any of them. So this is probably now his uh, most well-known movie. And interestingly, this movie came together... Um, because a university student pitched the idea that he had when he was in school and one of the um, uh, part-time teachers there is um, a man that's uh, Chakutoshi Naoi. Stuff. So uh, he's known as a producer for stuff like on the edge of their seats and swimming in a sand pool. So both movies that are based on high school plays so uh, similar here like a student pitched the idea he picks it up and uh, yeah he produced this movie and yeah it's a very nice simple movie it, it's about a girl who likes um 
writing literature and uh, she wants to join the literature club at her school. But because she gets hit by a drone in the head during the uh, entrance exam, basically, she can't join the test. Um, but she, she's a big fan of um, a writer who's seemingly a student at that school and they make a deal. Like if she infiltrates the um, journalism club and uh, finds out some stuff there, she will... Uh, be able to meet her idol and so she joins basically the journalism club and things happen and it's a very nice little cute movie nothing too special let's uh, get the rating uh, four out of five it's it's solid it's good there's not much to complain um, the cast is nice and fun the whole story is good enough for what it wants to be, like a movie for high school kids, I would say, or older gentlemen, like today in the summer, there were basically only old men who probably like to uh, see some young girls, an old man, so who am I to complain? Um, anyway, so um, it doesn't do much wrong, it doesn't do anything enormous or great or really surprising it's something you would usually just uh, put on on a nice sunday afternoon and you get entertained for about i don't know one and a half hours or something like that and without getting hurt and um, the only thing we could complain about is the tonality like this movie over large pieces seemingly doesn't really know what it wants to be so in the beginning especially when she gets hit by the drone the drone just hangs in her hair when she wakes up and um, then when she tries to join this um, journalism club she goes to a lake or something and there are like one million QR codes uh, put on everything that's there on the ground of the water, on the plants and everything. So these scenes are quite silly and uh, fun and suggest a little strange little comedy. If they would have done this um, with more consequence, I would have expected something like maybe turtles are surprisingly fast swimmers or something. So it could have been something like that, but it dials down on these elements uh, very quickly and um, keeps it relatively straight for the most part, um, which is uh, totally fine. It's working it's not um, bad also it's just like they had these ideas to make it more like quirkier and um, for me more interesting but it's totally fine it's a nice uh, teenager movie like a basically a crime story because journalists need to uh, find out some mystery some wrongdoing and uh, get the bad guys and that's the point where the movie gets really really good and that's the aforementioned uh, Masahiro Takashima who seemingly is the only one who knows in what kind of movie he is and just goes completely gaga and weird like he's the archetypical comic book bad guy with a large portrait of himself on the wall drinking milk and uh, just being weird and uh, a huge douchebag and he's really really fun he's uh, very entertaining and every scene that has him in it like his face does stuff and it's a glorious it takes some time until he finally shows up but then every scene he's in is just a, a lot of fun because yeah, he, he knows he's in a weird, quirky movie and plays it completely like that. Um, so I, I don't really remember him in other movies. I need to look out for him, but I'm I'm pretty sure he's not doing that all the time. And uh, he just did it for, for this one because that's the kind of movie it was supposed to be. Uh, so we have a little bit of a 
dissonance maybe between him and the other characters which is really weird because everyone else plays it much straighter but um yeah he's just wonderful and glorious and uh no, I, I seemingly watched 12 of his movies. I, I need to, to check again. Most of them have been quite some time ago. And, uh, yeah, but in this movie, he's like the, the best thing about it. Everything else is totally fine, totally solid. A nice serviceable movie, like I said, for a nice Sunday afternoon that you can watch without being hurt. But, uh, yeah, the way the whole story plays out is uh, completely normal. Nothing exciting really happens, and it's fine. Just a movie that's totally fine. It has this one thing. Besides, besides a really nice cast, they're, they're doing a good job. But this guy is the real reason to watch this movie. Ignore the girls. Watch the old dude. Maybe that's why the old dudes came to watch the movie because they knew the old dude is the best. And uh, yeah, that's already basically all I have to say about this movie. It's a nice uh, school journalism crime movie with some good fun in it, and it looks a little bit plain. Like the whole camera visual aesthetic is not really exciting doesn't do anything that i don't like like drowning everything in a teal and orange which is, which is very nice i appreciate that but uh, yeah it's, it's not a very visually appealing movie it's very basic and um the music is quite nice there's some some good uh songs it's very like rock band music which i always like some some good uh guitar chords uh, always make a movie feel good and yeah basically that's it uh, if you have the chance it appears somewhere i i can imagine that it would be the kind of movie that shows up at the um, uh, japan film festival online or they change their name i always forget how they change it but you know what i mean that's the kind of movie that would appear there for free streaming and uh, in that case you should watch it because it's good but uh yeah nothing to be overly excited about um or if you're a huge huge akari takaishi fan you must watch everything she does it's a it's a totally fine movie watch it you will have your fun uh, she's very good here um yeah but that's all let's keep it short for today thank you very much i will record the next video or maybe I will record the last video because maybe the next one will come out first and this one cut. Confusion. See you.